Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, we will have a look at a secret in Blender. Some advanced users maybe know that, but beginners, when I was a beginner, I didn't know that and I wanted to know that. So it's not that often spoken about. We want to use Blender 3.1, but you can even use Blender 2.8. Everything's possible here and we can launch it. Uh, you can download Blender 3.0 via the Blender launcher or you can go into blender.org or something like that. You can use every Blender version, but I'll maybe make something in Blender 3.1. There are some more nodes in Geometry Nodes, so that's pretty neat. So let's start. So th the secret is you have these values here. And you can change them. And if you will animate this, you normally would use, you would, you would type I to make a keyframe here, and then you would scrub on your timeline. And then you would move this. And then this would be animated. But I want to show you a way this will be getting this will be getting procedural so maybe reset the location so and here is the secret you can type special words in here called expressions or drivers and these will manipulate this value so for instance the simplest one is the hash frame and some of you may know this you can enter this and you can see it this is now purple and it means we have done something that is magic and now what this does the hash frame pulls a value from our frames here so at frame zero it inputs zero on the z location here and if we would go to frame one, it would input a one here and so on and so forth. But one good thing is this is endless. So no matter how long your timeline is, it is completely endless. But this is a bit too fast for us, right? So here comes simple math so here we have our number like 10 and we don't want to have this thing 10 meters at 10 frames so we just have to divide our frame so press the divide on your numpad and then we want to divide it by 10 so it should be in frame 10 it should be at 1 and you can see it is much slower now and at frame 40 it should be 4 and at frame 60 it should be 6 but how you can you can even offset it so you can use every math you would use as a node so what if we want to have it at frame 20 at 5 meters. So we would offset it by 3, so plus 3, like this. And now it is 5 meters at 20. So now we've offset it. it. And offset it, and we can even offset it in the other way. So minus, minus 5, so it's starting from minus. How can we now invert the whole thing? So, for instance, we don't want to have this thing going upwards. We want to have it downwards. So we just want to have invert the whole thing. So we just type a minus before the frame. And now it is going downwards. So this is pretty neat. And as I've said, you can use this on every, on every panel. So you can use this for rotation. So hash frame 
divided by 10, so it is slower. And now it works like that. You can use it on the y axis, hash frame, maybe divided by 30, so it is even slower. And this is even faster than you would use a keyframe. So this is pretty handy. But hold on, there is even more. So you have your minus frame, you have your endless thing here, but you have even more secret things you can do. For instance, you can use a sign in here. So you can use a sign if you would take this like that and then type before sign S I and N and then it will go up and down. Delete here the minus because it is unrelevant by my by sign. But now if we want now want to have it taller then you can multiply it by two or something like that or by five and I want to have the whole thing a bit slower just like that and this is pretty nice so you can even use it here hash frame and we want to have this as a sign <laughs> there it goes our default cube we want to have it back so we take this like that and then sign <laughs> and this is nice so I want to have it slower so nope that's not right I want to have the frame slower so divide by 10 and now you have a perfect floating mesh and you have no keyframes nothing else you have just used a secret backdoor here isn't that nice? And the last expression I want to show you is so let us just repeat what we've learned. So you can type hash for going into the back door of this value and to create a driver hash frame to pull the information from our timeline. And now we have the frame number here, so the time, and we want to divide our time so it is much slower. And but now what you can do, this goes forever, so it pulls every time the frame number, but we can clamp this value so. What if we only want this effect to happen from train from frame 10 to frame 80, for instance? So there's another thing, and this is called smooth step. And you can type this before the frame, and then you have to open a bracket, and then you type after the bracket the frame range you will want to where this all should happen so I'll type 10 and 80 and this is the frame range I want this thing to be in and then after this the frame is and divided by 20 and you can close this bracket and now this should wait a minute this bracket should be after frame, right? Yes. So it's a little bit slow. So I'll divide it by five. So you can see it. So here. No, I not divide it. You can't see anything. I multiply it by three. <laughs> so just like that. So now it goes from frame 10 to frame 80 so here is nothing and then from frame 10 and it stops on frame 80 let me recreate the whole thing in geometry nodes so 
you can visualize it better. So let's use back our hash frame like that. And we want to divide it by 20 so it is slower like this. And I want to use a sign on this like that. So it is going up and down in a sine wave. And I want to have taller times 3. Just like that. And we can duplicate this cube. And we can delete this driver. I will reset our location. And we can recreate the whole thing in geometry nodes. But the workflow is a lot slower. So, but you can visualize it better. So to manipulate your position, we want to use with Shift A. We want to go in the geometry submenu and there the set position node. And we want to use the offset. And there we have the combine XYZ node because we want to only affect the Z axis as in here. And we want to have a value. The Z axis. And here you can type your hash frame. But nope. Ignore. I've typed something wrong here. You can type hash frame in this. But in 3.1 we have another value. Uh, another node. This is the scene time node. Here you can just use the frame output and then the same thing happens. It just goes off here. And now we do the same thing as before. What did we do? We divided the hash frame. So we take our second cube and we take a math node set to divide and we divided it by 20. So we do the same thing here. Divide it by 20. And then we use the whole thing on a sign. So we would use a sign after this. Just like that. And now the last thing we did is we multiplied the whole thing by 3. So we would use another math node, set to multiply, and set to 3. And you can see, they are doing the exact same thing. Just like that. And as I've said, you can use this on everything. So we can even use the camera. And we can use the same thing here. So. We will use our hash frame. Nope, hash frame divided by 20. And we want to put the whole thing on a sign. Just like that. Plus 5. Yes. So that is our offset here. And now we animated our th your things even without a keyframe. And as I've said, you can use this on nearly everything. So you can maybe use this here, hash frame. Yes, it works on your depth of field. We can put this in a sign. Just like that. And maybe multiply it by 3. So now your depth of field is flickering. I have no idea for what you would need this. But 
it is just for visualization. So I hope I hope this video was informative for you, and you can watch some other things I do. Uh, I do a lot with geometry nodes. You can watch this stuff. I did a beginner course, and if you want, you can check out my Gumroad. There I'll have some things like the Ivy generator, the particulizer effect, the Christmas tree generator, and the sci-fi shield, or if you want to have text animation and fireworks made in geometry nodes, you can check that out. And today, uh, yesterday, I put up a new thing. There I made a Disney-inspired rose pattern in geometry nodes. Maybe a tutorial for this is coming, but you can grab this. This is a pretty nice thing I did. So, so this is something you can grab on my Gumroad. And thank you for watching. Uh, you can ask me a question if you want. And thanks for watching. See you later.